Welcome back into the third edition of the Player Profile. Cam McGuire here, joined by sophomore forward Cody Gudorzi. Cody, you guys opened the season last weekend. How great did that feel to get back on the ice? Yeah, uh, it's been a long time since we've just been we've been training all summer and in the in the preseason. So it felt amazing to get back out there, get a win, and uh, lost in overtime, a little rough, but just felt good to be on the ice. So your freshman year, you look back, you had five points, and then last year you had 18. Explain to me your sophomore surge. Yeah, um, I think it was just the work I put in in the off season. Uh, going into freshman year, I didn't I didn't get on the ice as much as I should have. Um, but going into last year, I prepared myself better, and uh, it worked for me. So that's what I needed. So you're a St. Louis native, from what I believe, just outside of St. Louis, right? Uh, yeah, just like 15 minutes from downtown. All right, so you grew up grew up watching the Blues. I can imagine you're a big Blues fan. Uh, yeah, huge. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So when you were growing up, Al McGinnis, Keith, Keith Kachuk, just to name a few, were guys that were playing on the Blues. How cool is it watching those guys? I mean, they're tremendous. Uh, they're unreal. Uh, Al McGinnis is a Hall of Fame player, and uh, just see him around the rink, uh, just when I was playing some games, it was pretty cool, pretty awesome to see. Yeah, so you touch on that, you know, you played some midget hockey in St. Louis for the AAA Blues, and Keith Kachuk and Al McGinnis, they were around a lot as they coached. Uh, yeah, they are uh, coaching their younger kids, uh, just a few years younger than me, so I'd see them around the rink every once in a while. Uh, some Blues players today still have uh, kids in the, like, the system, so they're always around, so it's awesome there. So staying on the topic of St. Louis, you look back to 2016 to the NHL draft. There was five draft picks, f kids from St. Louis, Luke Cunning, Trent Frederick, Logan Brown, Clayton Keller, and Matthew Kachuk. They're obviously, they were a little younger than you, right? Uh, yeah, about two or three years younger than me. So. Okay. But, I mean, you would have had to seen them play a couple times. Talk to me a little about how cool that is to see kids from, like, your area get drafted so high in the NHL. Uh, yeah, it was actually awesome just for like the St. Louis area in general. Um, doesn't get much credit as being like a hockey hotbed, but uh, with that, it was kind of just brought some light to how good St. Louis really is for hockey. Yes, yeah, so you talk about that growing up, St. Louis, not necessarily known for hockey, but you know, after that draft, people started putting St. Louis on the map for hockey. Uh, yeah, finally. Um, the Blues just started like a, like a plan to make it like a hockey hotbed, uh, heartland of hockey, so. Uh, it's just growing every more every year, so it's awesome. And you know, so let me ask you this: you know, you and Bron Loisel have a connection, right? Yeah. <laughs> what, what what is that connection, Cody? Uh, not sure. It's chemistry, I think. One guess. I'll give you one guess. It has something to do with an animal. An animal. No idea. What is it? Maybe a pet. Is that one more hint for you? D a dog? I don't know. I'll say, okay, so Bron told me today that you have a dog, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, am I correct? Yeah, I don't know how he knew that. I don't know is. how he knew that either, but he also has a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Tell me about your dog a little bit here. Um, it's kind of annoying, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he's really cute. I love him a lot, but uh, he just can be, uh, just be annoying. Everyone else while. He barks a lot, so pretty typical, but he's really cute. Got to love him. How old? Uh He's about nine years old now, so he's, old. Getting okay, he's getting up there, up yeah. There. What's his name? Uh, Toby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so going back, I asked everyone this in this segment. Who's the biggest clown on this team? Um, it's a lot of normal answers, but uh, I'm going to go with a freshman, uh, Kyler. He's okay. he's pretty he's a pretty big clown. Uh, I don't know. You just got to see it for yourself to know, but... He's he's a mess, really. All right, I believe it. And then and one more here. If you're stranded on an island, who would you want to be stranded with and why? Uh, definitely Luke Mead. Um, you wouldn't expect it, but uh, he knows what he's doing in certain situations, um, just like weird situations. He just has a plan for everything, so definitely him. And so you look back, you know, your freshman year, you guys went 10 and 15, and then last year, 16 and 10. What are you looking forward to most this season? Um... Just getting um, it's a little more important role on the team, and then uh, I think we're going to be pretty good this year. So hopefully make a deep run in the playoffs, uh, win, a, win a conference championship, and that's what I'm hoping for. Folks, that's Cody Gudorzi, and I'm Cam McGuire. This is the third edition of the Player Profile. Follow along all season for the weekly Player Profile, as well as more behind-the-scenes look in Lake Forest men's hockey. Thanks for watching.